Hi my friends, welcome back to the farmstead. We are in the kitchen. Um, today I'm teaching you how to cook yet another traditional dish. Um, I think you have noticed the trend by now whenever I'm in the kitchen is because I'm teaching you guys to cook a dish that we eat traditionally. This is one of the delicacies that will make a lot of people squirm. Um, so, um, for my sensitive viewers, please be open-minded because this is our delicacy. And today we are cooking mopane worms. Okay, some people will say caterpillar worms, but we call them mopane worms or omagungu. Um, have you tried omagungu if you are not Namibian or if especially for my caucasian friends um caucasians have you tried this one um today i'm teaching you how to cook it if you have never tried it you might want to stick around follow the recipe so that the next time you may cook it for yourself or for your family so mopane worms are very rich in protein in fact um some governments recommend for the dried ones to be powdered up and then they are given as uh, that powder is given as a supplement to kids who are malnourished so very very good in protein um and uh, we eat this um almost with anything oh i'm forgetting that i already put on this bowl oh my goodness so mopane worms are actually harvested around um, end of summer to the beginning of autumn and then they are preserved by drying and this is why you see me making a video or recording a video for you guys um in november but um we are still eating mopane worms it's because of preservations but you can also have them as a snack just the dried ones so this is our ingredient <clears throat> so um we have um sunflower oil uh we have stock cube uh one onion and two tomatoes like i said i love cooking with onions and tomato you could easily get away with um half an onion and one tomato and i'm forgetting the salt okay um my salt is somewhere here but um so salt is one of them first <coughs> sorry um the first thing that you need to do is um to soak your mopane worms mine have been soaking overnight this is because they have a lot of debris actually the way they are preserved um uh, they remove the intestines um and then i think they are they are put in hot ash i think um maybe there are other ways of preserving them because i know some people also boil them in um, salty water but this i think was the hot ash because if you can see the water when i do this you can see there's a lot of particles that are coming up from the bottom um this is the third set of water or uh, because i drained the first water out and then put the second and this is the third one um the third water that i'm putting in here okay and uh, we are going to cut our onions into cubes and then we fry them okay so i did add around about uh, three tablespoons of um, cooking oil or sunflower oil to the hot pan and then i added my onions right there um and you can see when i added the onions and tomato family those kitchen disasters or mishaps but yeah we managed <coughs> so we have um added our cubed onions we are frying and you saw the little accident uh, with the tomato there when it fell into the oil i'm not going to cut that out because it's real life situation and um it happens now and then i'm not perfect in the kitchen in fact i am not a chef but i know even chefs make such mistakes so now we're just going to cube our tomatoes okay oh the onions is burning okay let's go so because the heat on my stove was on high uh, my onions were burning so um, I had to add something with moisture and I added um, my um, mopane ones 
uh, and added around about half um, a cup of water uh, and allowed it to cook on medium heat huh, guys cooking doesn't always go as planned my onions are a little bit more caramelized than i would like them to be uh, but so i added my um <clears throat> mopane ones to the pot and then i added uh, some water you shouldn't add too much water because they are already soft at this point especially that um, they've already been soaked we are going to add half stock cube to it um at this point you may also add your chili and your spices I'm not going to add the chili or the spices because um, we have kids at home and my son, I want my son to try them. I haven't really seen him trying them, but I want to challenge him. So this is why I'm not adding chili because he's going to use chili against me. You know, in his favorite food, if there's chili, he doesn't feel the chili. In the food that he doesn't want, if there's a tiny bit of chili, he used that as an excuse. So today he has no escape route. Okay. Um... So let me just um, stir a bit just so that my stock cube can dissolve in it. Okay, perhaps I can add a little bit more water and just let it cook down before I can add my tomatoes. Um, where's my salt? Salt, salt, salt. So I am adding a little bit of salt, just eyeball it, okay, and then a whole bay leaf. So at this point I will continue um, dicing or cubing my tomatoes and then i will allow this to cook down once it has cooked down drastically i'm going to add um, tomatoes and just continue stirring um, and then when i'm adding the tomatoes i'm going to see whether there's enough oil or whether at that point i can add a little bit more cooking oil So you can see the water have um, drained or evaporated. You can see there's hardly any water left. And then at this point, we are going to add our tomatoes. So after adding our tomatoes, we are almost done. I think I'm going to add a little bit of cooking oil maybe one tablespoon so that um, when the water has totally evaporated it will cook as if it's um, frying for a moment so that it doesn't burn or caramelize the bottom of the pot so we are going to cover again and then at this point um, we are still cooking it on we are going to cook it on high heat until you can feel that um, the tomatoes have totally uh, meshed down and um, the water there's hardly any fluid left so yeah keep with me so as you can see here i am just stirring like i said i'll periodically stir just to make sure that um, the pot doesn't caramelize or burn Yay guys, this is our final product. Our Mopane worms are done. You can see it looks so beautiful. It is nutritious. It is delicious. I am challenging you just to go and try it out. Even just one, you know. This is a nutritious um, bite or lot. Um, thank you so much for keeping up with me in yet another video. I am urging you. If you are new here, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and share my videos. I do appreciate you. Bye-bye.